We are here on the invitation of the Ethiopian government. The dawn of humanity shines on this land. Here, the past is getting closer to the future. Water is scarce, and water abounds. Here, the wind blows, and the streets bustle. Here, people's eyes meet, and the gods coexist side by side. Here in Ethiopia, while everything can change when songs rise up, while others must stay silent. Here, where you display on the walls. Here, where you see what you are allowed to see. Unless you look beyond. Invited by the Ethiopian government, the European Union is deploying an election observation mission with its ethics, experience, and logistics. With no other aim than to observe the election procedure and provide its testimony, the European Union has deployed over 150 impartial observers and analysts throughout the country. So that an entire world, with its colors, its votes, and its choices, takes matters in hand. The hand of everyone. On the ground for weeks, and in certain cases for months, the EU observers are fully aware of the challenges, risks, and pitfalls surrounding this new election. In this country of uncertain democracy, nothing guarantees transparency. The fiasco of the 2005 elections remains fresh on everyone's mind, a ballot marred by doubts, manipulations, and blood. As in any election, the country's destiny rests in the hands of those who vote, not those who count, no matter who they are. The ruling parties have won 545 out of the 547 seats. The report of the Electoral Observation Mission is clear. The National Electoral Board of Ethiopia administered the electoral process in an efficient and competent manner, but failed to dispel opposition parties' lack of trust in its independence. <laughs> 